Hi, I'm Mark from easylawnmowing.co.uk and this is the Works WG 779E Cordless Lawn Mower. In this review, we'll take a look at the features and functions of this mower and see just how good it really is. By the end of this review, you'll know if this is the right lawn mower for you and your lawn. So before we can take this Works WG 779E out um, to have a look at its features and see how well it performs, we need to get the batteries charged. So I thought I'd just show you how simple and how easy it is to get the batteries charged and tell you a little bit about the batteries. So with, um, with this uh, Works mower, you do get a dual charger, which means that you can charge two batteries at the same time. If you're purchasing online, say from Amazon, you would normally get the 20 volt, two amp hour batteries. Um, however, if you were purchasing, say from a B&Q store, um, they would provide it with two 20 volt, four amp hour batteries. Um, needless to say, the four amp hour batteries from B&Q is going to cost um, quite significantly more. Um, you can always purchase additional batteries as I have here. So I have two additional spare batteries. And what's great about these batteries um, is they are power share. So uh, these batteries will be used uh, in other works tools that I have such as hedge trimmers, um, uh, lawn blowers and, and that kind of thing. So this, ch this charger will also charge the four amp hour batteries as well. Uh, charge times are around two hours, so it's about an hour per battery um, with the two amp, and that is, a, um, a, well actually it's quite a bit more with the four amp batteries. Um, so to know whether or not the batteries are charged, there's um, a test button on each battery. So you simply hold that button down, and you can see here that this battery is fully discharged, and that is how they come uh, when you purchase the mower. Um, there is also a battery indicator on the mower itself, so you can see um, when the batteries are getting low on the mower, not just on the battery. Okay, so to charge the battery is really, really simple. Simply slide in, uh, an indicator will come on there, which I'll explain a little bit in a minute. Uh, second battery in, and there we go, there's two batteries charging simultaneously there. So a quick description of the, the light. So there's four different lights. The flashing light, as you can see here, means that the batteries are being charged. Um, a solid green light means the battery is fully charged. Uh, a solid red light means that there's an issue with the battery. Um, I've not actually had this happen, but if you do get a solid red light, uh, simply contact Works Technical Support and they will advise you what to do. And what I'll do is I'll put the, the phone number of Works Technical Support in the description below this video. The only other light uh, that you need to be concerned with, or the fourth light, would be a flashing red light. And this can happen, um, and that basically means that the battery is too hot to be charged. So this can happen if you've just been out in the garden, you've mowed your lawn, the battery has discharged, you come in, you immediately put it in the charger, you may get a flashing red light just indicating that the battery is too hot to charge so what you would do is just simply let the battery cool down maybe 20 minutes or so put the battery in and it should start to charge no problems okay that's it that's really all there is to the batteries let's go out and let's see how good this mower is okay so before we take this um, works WG 779e out to have a look how good it is let's get it unboxed let's get it assembled and let's see how long that takes
Okay, so that's the mower assembled. It took um, only a few minutes. There was no tools required whatsoever. Um, and yeah, very, very easy to assemble, very quick. Um, didn't even need to look at the instructions. So um, yeah, that's good. So let's get the batteries in and let's see how good this really is. Uh, and you, to insert the batteries, you simply just lift up the, the hood here. And just take this off. And to insert the batteries is really very, very straightforward. They simply just slide in and click. And what's fantastic about this uh, works WG7719 mower is that both slots are live. So uh, in some mowers, you will have to only one of the slots is live, and you have to switch the battery uh, when one battery runs out. With this mower, both batteries are uh, in use together continuously. So that's both batteries in. Um, so having a look at some of the other features of this mower, um, if we have a look underneath the mower, you can see here that um, it's a 34 centimeter diameter blade, which is really a good size. It's actually ideal for small, small gardens and medium gardens, um, and where you've got narrow strips of lawn. So this lawn mower is uh, very easy to maneuver around the garden. Uh, it does come with a roller, because here in the UK we do like our stripy lawns, so um, there is a roller with this mower, so that's a really good good feature. And also this groove here, this this is a cut to edge um, panel which uh, basically pulls the grass uh, as you're going along the edge, pulls the grass into the path of the blade. So this mower is really very good at cutting up close to the walls, fences, and any any kind of edging that you might have in your garden. Okay, so um, in terms of um, the battery and the power, so with the the two the two amp hour batteries, you're as I said earlier, you're looking at about a two hour charge, so about 120 minutes to charge the batteries, and you will get um, around 30 minutes, 35 minutes, depending on the condition of the lawn. Um, what you can do with this mower, there is an eco mode, so you can flick the switch here at the front to eco and that will use less power and give you a longer run time. Um, that's good to be used when your lawn is not long, has been cut more regularly. Um, so this is a really nice feature from Works that they allow you to switch into an eco mode, so you're going to get a, a longer run time with that. Um, a central handle in the middle here allows you to lift the, the mower quite easily and you can see that's quite well balanced. Um, the height adjustment is um, very easy to adjust which is very good because I'm not particularly a fan of having the height adjustments at the front of the mower. Uh, I do prefer the height adjustment to be more central to the mower which makes it easier but works have uh, linked the rear wheels by this bar here um, to, the, to the lever and that makes it much easier to adjust for a, a, a front adjusting lever. In terms of knowing whether or not the batteries or the condition of the charge of the batteries, you have um, an indicator here uh, on the top of the mower, which you can clearly see as you're mowing. And you press the button and you can see there all the lights have come on. So that means uh, both batteries are fully charged. Okay, looking around the top of the mower, um, you have a safety key here, which is ideal if you have children. Uh, and this is really good because it basically, when that key is out, the mower can't be started. Um, so to insert the key, you push the key in, and then you slide it over to the right, and then you pull the handles, and then the mower will start. The handles um, are, uh, have a, like a soft uh, foam on them, which makes the grip uh, nice to grip. Yes, it's not as good as the Bosch mowers where the, they have the Ego Flex, the rubber handles, but it's perfectly adequate uh, for the job and the mower can be uh, left or right hand started. So the grass box that comes with this Works WG779E is a 30 litre grass box. That's really, really good for a mower of this size. 
and that means that you won't have to empty the grass box as often. Uh, it is a cloth, it's not a completely solid grass box. Uh, now that has its advantages and disadvantages. So the advantage really is that it folds nice and flat and takes up less room for storage. The disadvantage is that this material is more prone to getting damaged, but if you take care of it, it, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, the other nice feature uh, about this grass box is the grass full indicator on here. Now you would think this would be standard with uh, all lawn mowers, but it isn't. So when this flap is stays down, you know that the grass box is full and needs to be emptied. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it with the lawn mower. Let's, um, let's cut the grass and see what, what sort of job it does. So I've come over to my local park here to find something that is a little bit more demanding and this is really very demanding in terms of the, the length of the grass and the thickness of the grass. So, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to put this on the highest setting and then we'll go over this, uh, and over this uh, grass here and see uh, how well this actually performs. So I hope you could see there that this uh, works WG 779E has done a fantastic job of cutting my lawn. So in summary, you get six cutting heights with this mower. Fantastic for a mower in this class. You get the PowerShare batteries. So remember these batteries can be used across all of the works tools, including their hedge trimmers, their leaf blowers. That's a really, really nice feature. Um, you're getting a 30 litre grass box. You're getting a three year manufacturer's warranty. This is comparable with Bosch. Yes, the quality may not be as good as Bosch, but it, it gets the job done. And the, the greatest thing about this lawnmower is the price. I mean, this lawnmower is way under 200 pounds. So the value for money on this lawnmower is really, really fantastic. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I hope you've uh, found this review useful. Please, um, if you would click the thumbs, thumbs up button below this video, if you did find this video useful, if you could do that now, it'd be much appreciated. 
and please subscribe to my channel in the bottom left corner there and if you have any comments at all or any ways that you feel I could improve these reviews please put a comment in the uh, comments box below this video. Thanks again very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.